Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're filming this at the beginning of June. And as usual, we've selected a couple of properties that have sold in the previous month, and we're going to do a financial analysis on these buildings. So you'll see what's going on in the market. So we'll get right into uh, a triplex that sold in, we'll call it Central Ottawa. Now this building was listed for 879,000. It sold for 835,000. It had a scheduled rental income of about 50. $53,000, an effective rental income of about $51,700. The operating expenses, as stated in MLS, were uh, $12,700 and change. When we factor in management and maintenance for our total operating expenses, that's about closing in on $18,000, which gives us an NOI of almost $34,000 on this triplex. So, <clears throat> Now that we know those two things, we can calculate a cap rate of 4.05. The operating expense ratio was 34.6%, which isn't too bad. Uh, and it sold for 16 times the gross and 25 times the net. Now here's an interesting thing where I'm starting to see a bit of a trend, is that in order to break even on this property or have a small positive cash flow, it was able to be purchased with 44% down, which in this case here equated to about $367,000. And um, that gives us an annual debt service on the property of $33,000. We knew what the uh, income was. So when you take out the annual debt service, that's your mortgage basically, your cash flow is $530. And that gives you a positive ROI of uh, 0.14, but here's the interesting thing about it. It wasn't that long ago that every bloody building that sold it needed a 50, 55% down payment. Now we're seeing some that you know are between 40 and 45%, so that's an interesting number. Thank you for watching.